is another video from the uh, I've got nothing better to do series uh, how to remove the gauge cluster on your fourth J Maxima need some basic hand tools once again just trusty little screwdriver Phillips and your little tiny pocket screwdriver uh, flathead to pop these out now start off with well first as with everything else in my car mine does not have the clips on it because who the hell knows so uh, if you have the clips on it you'll have to have to get these top screws out you'll have to yank on it uh, relatively hard there's clips all along the perimeter down here probably four of them um, I don't have them so it's easier for me uh, yeah so to start off I'm gonna pull out these little pieces here the security light cruise control if you have it and uh, illumination I just take a small screwdriver and get this on the camera and usually I go from the side but that's the camera side stick it in there and they pop right out and disconnect them and as you disconnect them just tuck the wire harness back inside so when you rip this thing off you don't or when you pull this off you don't rip the connectors right off because that would suck and then you get a lovely trip to the junkyard to find some pigtails for some reason, illumination always seems to be the hardest thing because it's the biggest out of all of them. There we go. Now again, uh, normally you've got clips on there. But hey, it doesn't vibrate, doesn't make any noises, so I don't really give a damn. Now you got two screws right here and right here. I wonder if I can... Screw right here and screw right here. So get that done right. Now, uh, just gonna remove these two. It's Phillips head, they're on an angle, obviously, so you can actually get to them. If you're having trouble uh, getting it seated in the base of the screw, or in the head of the screw, basically, you just angle the back of the screwdriver right toward your uh, turn signal or windshield wiper stalks and it lines it up pretty damn good. All right, most people replace, uh, most people take off the steering column trim when they do this because, well, it made it a lot easier, but it also takes a hell of a lot longer, so I don't bother. Uh, easy way is pull this up until that's resting on top of the steering column trim, and again, if you have the clips in there, you'll probably have to yank it pretty good. Pull it up until it rests on that. Get your little flat head. Pull that out a little. You'll probably have to hold the bottom because it likes to pop around. And see, it does have some flex to it, so you don't have to worry about really breaking it. And then you just kind of start pulling it around and it pops right out. That's pretty much, uh, he's got a finagle it, or, uh, uh, screw around with it for a while, and eventually you learn how to do that properly. Uh, little wire harness connectors, just tuck them down in these little holes down here, where they run through, so you can keep them out of the way. Now, you see the top screw right here. Uh, there's also screws right in there, and on the other side at the bottom. And of course you just want to go ahead and remove those. So again, three Phillips head screws. Like every other trim piece in the car pretty much. And if you aren't careful, you end up dropping one of these down into the lower dash panel. Yeah, you'll have to take that off to find them again, but that's only two more screws, so hey. Now uh, that's three screws are out. Gauge cluster just comes right out. You may have to angle it a little. There you go. Gauge cluster is out. Feel your pretty little uh, flex circuit board back there. And little screws for all the different gauges. And there's a tack screw back here. And uh, ground power, all that fun stuff. Uh, good time to check all your bulbs. Make sure they're all working. <clears throat> If you have a bulb that you would like to not be on, you can check engine light or an ABS light. 
You can go ahead and remove that now. I'm not saying you should, but whatever. And getting it back in is obviously exactly the same way. And uh, the ashtray or the uh, the cup holder in the center console, if you didn't know it already, uh, makes an excellent parts bin. It's gonna make sure your wire harness is out of the way down here behind the uh, the mounting tabs of the speedo. So you don't want to crush the harness because again. You can't really get that separately. You'll be visiting a wrecker. Uh, what I make a habit of every time I go to uh, the junkyard to find fourth gen parts, grab every damn interior screw, uh, every trim screw, and clip that I can find. They usually they're already uh, they've already been pilfered by other people. That probably lose them nearly as much as I do. On the back of this, you can see a clip goes here, clip here, clip here, and clip here. As you can see, all of mine are missing. Big deal. And if I can, uh, clips they go here, here, there, and right there. And you can see the screws better. There, there, and up top. Look at that, we're only six minutes in. Yeah. The uh, ignition switch video was 13 minutes from beginning to end, uh, one shot. But of course, YouTube has their wonderful 10 minute limit if you're not, you know, awesome. So, as long as you can, I forget how to do this. There we go. They kind of work it back and forth. Uh, make sure to get your harnesses out right now. Otherwise, you won't have any access to them. And uh, like this, just a pain in the ass. See? Case in point right there. I didn't get it out, so it was a pain in the ass to get to. Son of a bitch. There it is. If you want to really realize that, just like uh, unplugging this to the ignition switch, you aren't going to realize that until you go to plug in all your little uh, switches there, and you realize, son of a bitch, I didn't pull the harnesses back out. So I try to get it nice and close, then just feed them through. Work it back in there. The tack needle really jumps when I do that. And that's my horn. Plug all your little random stuff back in. And that is uh, taking out your gauge cluster and putting them back in in under 10 minutes on your fourth gen maxima. Gen, can't speak. Yeah.